Who wants some spoilers for the future episodes of Season 2? Hey everybody, it's me, Mirabeen, and welcome back to another Miraculous Ladybug video. So sorry I haven't posted in a while, it's not actually my fault. I have been vacationing in the Big Apple, aka New York City. I had an amazing time seeing all the wonderful sights and being in America. That was just lovely. Um, for those of you who don't know, I live in Canada, Ontario, represent. And anyway, that's not the important part right now, right? Now, we are talking about Miraculous Ladybug, and this is a special episode, ladies and gentlemen, because Miraculous Ladybug Season 2, some of the episode titles have been released, and we are, well, I'm here to review them for all of your pleasure, as well as giving you some spoilers. But, there's a downside. The next Miraculous Ladybug episode has been postponed until January. It was supposed to be released on December 17th, but it said, you know, in January. Well, that's okay. It's like a birthday present to me. But without further ado, here is some information I want to share with you about Miraculous Ladybug Season 2's episodes. So to start off, I want to talk about story arc, something that I tried to talk about in one of my earlier videos, but never really defined really well, and a lot of people were confused about it. So by definition, a story arc is a continuing storyline in, you know, television, comic, bu comic books, video games, etc. It's basically a series of events that unfolds over many episodes, like Steven Universe uses story arcs, Naruto uses story arcs, oh, I love that, and I also heard that Dragon Ball Z also uses story arcs more than most, you know, with the fight scenes. You know, most anime do use some form of story arcs to get across their point or idea. The Miraculous Ladybug is supposed to be using something similar in their episodes. Thomas, Thomas Astark even tweeted that Every episode has a meaning to it, and I'm sorry that if I didn't define that well earlier in, you know, in the video, because a lot of people were commenting that they didn't know what a story arc was. But you know what? I hope you all know now. So the next thing I want to talk about regarding Season 2's episodes is the next episode, which is supposed to be called, uh, Glaciator. It's from Andre! From the last Vinny episode, you know, of Season 2, the Ice Cream Man! I love that he's showing up again. I love continuing Ailey in uh, episodes. I think it's just amazing. I love it. Some other episode titles that I want to discuss with you are the past ones and the future ones. So, so far for season two, we have had eight episodes. The most recent one being Gigantitan. I think this list may be wrong, but, you know, tell me in the comments. And the next ones coming up are Gorzilla. Oh, and Glaciator first, of course. Sapotis, Troublemaker, we've heard of this before. Style Queen, Queen Wasp, Maledictator, Gatorder, Rosai Noble, Frozer, and Captain Hard Rock. I feel like I've heard Maledictator before. I'm not sure if you have, that's how you pronounce it. But anyway, there's a few titles on that list that I wanted to talk about. Namely, Style Queen, Queen Wasp, and I think the other one was, like, Gladiator? Maledictator, I think that's the one I was talking about. And I think it has something to do with the three people, some of my three favorite characters right now, because I think they're just really interesting, a.k.a. Chloe Bourgeois, her dad, and her mom. Now, this is the first series of episodes that we've had in Miraculous that will be in conjunction with each other. The second one being Queen Wasp, which I think has to do with Chloe becoming Queen Bee. And Style Queen is obviously that one, and Maledictator, and so on. So, for Chloe to become Queen Bee, I feel like this trilogy trilogy has something to do with that which i'm super excited about because we're getting some really interesting things that the creators are doing with the show like in the first season there was nothing like that the best thing we had was maybe the christmas episode and that was a little iffy but this is super exciting just because i feel like we're well first of all we might be getting a new superhero yes and second of all we're finally learning about other people's families 
Now, it may be early to talk about season three, since we just got season two, but another special that's coming up is called Heroes Day, and it has something to do with the five heroes that we're going to get. I'm just so excited that we have this information available to us. It's supposed to be about the heroes versus, like, the best of, like, the hero, the villains throughout the years. Obviously, personally, Dark Owl is gonna be in it. He's my boy. New favorite episode, new favorite supervillain right there. I love that guy. Also, if you didn't see the last episode, but Laura Morano made a cameo in it. Go see my last video. Hint, hint, wink, wink if you want to see that little nudge. I'm so excited. Once again, continually. You know, continually. I cannot speak today, but yeah, you get what I mean. I, like... And then this. Who stopped me in my tracks? The balcony scene. Or should I say, one of the balcony scenes. Because one of the creators tweeted that this was only one of many balcony scenes. There's going to be other ones of this amazingness. Mary, um, amazingness. Mary Shat moments. Who knows what else could be coming of balcony scenes. Oh, I just love it. Now, if only the episodes were coming sooner. I know, everybody. So, that is the end of this episode. But before you click off, please like this video if you want more specials from me. Subscribe if you want to be notified when, about updates for Miraculous Ladybug. And comment down below what special, what episode you think sounds the most interesting. And, you know, as always, this is Mira Bean. Beaning. Out. What's the best ship in Marek's Ladybug? It's Mary. Mary Shat. It's Mary. Mary Shat. You can't say it isn't because it is. Hey, yeah.